Good morning all. Let us study today principle of volumetric analysis. What is the principle of volumetric analysis? In in the previous class we have studied the principle of qualitative analysis. Please watch the lesson. In this we will study the law of equivalence. The volumetric analysis is based on law of equivalence. And number of equivalents or number of milli equivalents. How is number of milli equivalents calculated? How is number of equivalents calculated? All the problems can be solved if you know the number of milli equivalents, number of equivalents. What is the principle of volumetric analysis? Volume means volume. Then measurement, volume measurement. So, it involves measurement of volume required for completion of reaction. It involves measurement of volume required for completion of reaction. Whereas in gravimetric analysis, it involves measurement of weight of the precipitate formed at the completion of the reaction. In gravimetric analysis, we will measure the weight of the precipitate after the completion of the reaction, at the end of the reaction. It is used to determine the strength of an unknown solution by knowing the strength of another solution. There are two solutions for acid-based titration or redox titrations. It is used to determine the strength of an unknown solution by another solution of known strength. It is used for especially for titrimetric analysis. What are the various titrations? We have studied acid-based titrations, redox titrations, precipitation titrations. They are all based on volumetric analysis. This volumetric analysis is the basis of, is based on law of equivalence. Law of equivalence is the basis for volumetric analysis. So let us study what is law of equivalence. This is very important for volumetric, for understanding the volumetric analysis, for calculation, for problems, etc. According to this law, at the end of the acid based titration or redox titration at the neutralization point of titration the volumes of two titrants the volumes of v1 v2 volumes of two titrants reacted at the end point contain the same number of equivalents or number of milli equivalents this is the mathematical form of law of equivalence we will derive this how it is obtained in the next slide n1 v1 equal to n2 v2 this is the mathematical form of mathematical form of law of equivalence so you have v1 v2 so the volume contain the same number of equivalents Num that is number of for acid based titration hcl versus sodium hydroxide Number of equivalents of HCl is equal to reacted with the, the same number of equivalents of sodium hydroxide. That is the basis. Remember, number of equivalents of HCl reacted with the same number of, for example, 0 0.5 equivalents of uh, HCl will react with the 0 0.5 equivalents of sodium hydroxide. Or number of milli equivalents of HCl reacted is equal to number of milli equivalents of sodium hydroxide. How is the number of milli equivalents or equivalents calculated? This is very very important for solving all the problems based on uh, volumetric analysis or gravimetric analysis or any mole concept problems. We know normality equal to weight per liter divided by equivalent weight. Please remember this formula. What is normality? Normality equal to weight per weight of the substance dissolved per liter divided by equivalent weight of the substance. So it is expressed in other words normality equal to weight 
divided by equivalent by into per liter volume volume in 1 liter or volume in ml so weight by equivalent weight equal to number of equivalents number of equivalents is equal to weight by equivalent weight so n equal to so n equal to number of equivalents divided by volume so number of equivalents equal to n into v n into volume in liters number of milli equivalents whereas number of milli equivalents equal to n into v in ml now so n n1 number of milli equivalents of hcl equal to number of milli equivalents of sodium hydroxide therefore n1 v1 equal to n2 v2 so we have derived the mathematical form of law of equivalence this is the law of equivalence mathematical form of law of equivalence this is used in volumetric analysis calculations etc how is number of equivalence calculated number of milli equivalence calculated for example sodium hydroxide molecular weight is equal to equivalent weight in the case of sodium hydroxide the molecular weight of sodium hydroxide is equal to 40 it is obtained by summing the atomic masses of constituent atoms in the molecule in sodium hydroxide one sodium atom therefore 1 into 23 one oxygen atom plus 16 sum plus one hydrogen atom its atomic mass is 1 equal to 40 for example 40 gram dissolved in 1 liter then number of equivalents is equal to weight by equivalent weight equal to 40 divided by 41 that is one num one number of equivalent suppose 20 gram dissolved in 1 liter then 20 divided by 40 0 0.5 number of equivalents okay then at the end point at the neutralization point number of equivalents of sodium hydroxide equal to number of equivalents of hcl this is the n1 v1 n2 v2 we have derived in the previous slide thank you all for watching and in the next class we will study the calculation of equivalent weights of acids acidity basicity salts calculation of equivalent weights of reducing agents and oxidizing agents thank you all